Hey guys, it's Alex and welcome back to my channel. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to be doing a what is on my birthday and Christmas wish list. So let me explain that real quick. I My birthday is in December, it's on December 3rd. So I always just put my birthday and Christmas wishes together. Um, sorry, <laughs> Bailey. Um, so people can choose um, what they want to buy me for my birthday, what they want to buy me for Christmas, and that way I don't have to make two separate lists. That way it's just easier just to have one list and people can just pick off of it. So how I made my list is um, I just made a shared Amazon wish list. Uh, I'm under my mom's Amazon, so um, my mom could just give my family the wish list that I made on her Amazon. So yeah, um, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing on my wish list is this pink cosmetic bag from Amazon. Well, all of this is actually going to be from Amazon, so. But the first thing on my wish list is this pink cosmetic bag. Um, I honestly, I have this little cosmetic bag on my, in my bathroom. Um, it's pretty tiny though, and it's really hard to find all my makeup in it. Um, so I would like this cosmetic bag. Um, so I can put all my makeup into it and actually have it organized. Uh, and that way it'll be much easier to find. The next thing on my wish list is this pink, or sorry, gold, um, gold necklace with my name on it. Um, I've seen a lot of people with these kind of necklaces and I was gonna get it in silver, but then I just, I really like silver jewelry. I mostly only wear silver jewelry, but I wanted to try out gold because I've seen everyone with a gold one uh, and I just think it would look pretty cool. So that's the second thing on my wish list. The next thing on my wish list is this computer skin uh, because this is my computer right now. It's very plain. I have a Chromebook so I can do my school on it, but it's very plain. It's just white and it's just, it's boring because I had one that said my name on it, but it got really gross and dirty. So I had to peel it off um, and now it's just white. So I would like a computer skin to make it not so plain. While we're on the topic of computers, um, I would like this computer mouse, um, because I have one, but I lost, like, it's one of those ones that's not wired, and I lost the, like, chip to it, um, that makes it, like, connect to the computer, and I feel like if I got another one with the chip, I would lose that one too, <laughs> so I want this one because it's wired, and because it's sparkly, like, who wouldn't want a sparkly mouse, what the heck? The next thing on my wish list is this AirPod case. I need a new AirPod case because the one I have, it's uh, it's downstairs, so I'm not gonna show you. But um, it's like this schnauzer head. And it's not, I like one that's like more silicone and bendy, so I can like just push the AirPods out from the bottom when I wanna charge them. Or I can just charge them with the case on because I cannot charge mine with the case on because the case is so thick. I have to take the case off, but when I do that, I have to take off the headpiece and then pull out the AirPods um, by the little piece that flips up, and that really scares me that I'm going to break the AirPods. So I am looking for an AirPod case. Another thing on my wish list are these flare jeans. Uh, I don't have any flare jeans. I have some like boot cut jeans. Um, and some jeans that are just overall like bigger on the leg but I don't have any flare jeans and I really want flare jeans especially in this color I just think they're really cute and they match a lot of things um the next thing on my wish list are these earrings I really like these earrings because I feel like they really fit me and my personality and my style which is exactly what I'm looking for um just stuff that fits me and my style so I was pulling out like a string in my bedding but I want something that kind of matches my style, kind of gives me a compliment, you know what I mean? Okay. Another thing on my wish list is this tote bag. I wouldn't necessarily call it a tote bag, but I don't really know what else to call it. Um, Cause it's not like a tote bag shape, but it's also not like a handbag shape. Um, on Amazon it's labeled a handbag, but 
I, I'm just going to call it a tote bag because, I don't know. But I really like this tote bag. It doesn't really match my style, but I think it's super cute. And I would definitely use it a lot. Okay, so that category was really like just random stuff that I want. Um, I have three categories. I have the category of just random stuff. The next category is going to be bullet journaling. And the third category, I'm going to keep it a secret until we get there. So keep watching. But, um... This category, like I said, is bullet journaling, and I, um, actually over the summer, I bullet journaled a lot last year, um, in 2020, I bullet journaled a lot, um, but I kind of just got out of the habit when school started, and I'd really like to start that up again, because it was such a fun and, like, creative hobby, it just kind of kept my mind thinking, and it, like, it was just really fun to do. And it kind of just made my day whenever I got to sit down and use my bullet journal, so. Okay, so, obviously, the first thing on my list of bullet journaling is going to be a bullet journal. So, I actually have this one from the summer. That's the front. I actually have this one from 2020 summer. Um, wait, no, it was 2021 summer. Yeah, it was 2021 summer, I'm sorry. This was from 2021 summer, um, and I bullet journal a lot. Um, I have things like notes from people. Um, I have random like crossword, crossword puzzles. Um, I have this like life goals tab here. Um, I also have this note as well from someone else. I have my summer bucket list. Um, I have stuff like my morning routine for school and my day highlight. I actually never finished doing this. I did it four or five times and then I stopped because that's when I stopped bullet journaling. I also have a month calendar. It looks really sloppy, but... <laughs> I have my schedule for school. I have a mood tracker with turtles. And lastly, I have a habit tracker. Now that's not everything in this journal. I actually have a lot of pages in here and it's like sticking out because of how much stuff I have in here. But that's everything that I have put into it right now. And it's not actually a bullet journal. It is just like, it's just lined paper, which I would like a bullet journal because then I can actually like make it more organized. So like I can make calendars better, I can make like trackers better and just everything like that. Another thing on my bullet journal list is dual brush pens. If you don't know what these are, it's a, um, it's like a marker type thing with a marker side. It's like a felt tip pen, I think. Um, and then a markerish side, and then like more of a pen side. Um, and you can like obviously write with both. Um, and it's just two in one marker, so it's pretty cool. And it comes in lots of colors. The next thing on my bullet journal wish list is um, washi tape. Um, when I did this over the summer, I had a bunch of washi tape, but I got rid of it because I didn't think I would start bullet journaling again. But I am, so I need more washi tape for that. The last thing on my bullet journal wish list are midliners, or like zebra midliners. Um, these are basically like highlighters. Um, yeah, they're basically just really nice highlighters. Um, yeah, I think they're also dual brushed, or not dual brushed, like dual tipped. Um, I don't remember though, but basically I'm pretty sure one side's a highlighter and the other side's like a highlighter pen, I guess. And the next category is room decor. So basically this winter, I'm going, this winter, um, in December or January, um, probably January, like early January, um, I'm going to be, um, redecorating my room. So... My room right now, it's really cute and it's like, 
it's nice i just kind of grew out of it a bit um i don't really like a lot of the colors in here anymore like my bedding it's teal um and it's like teal and white i don't really like teal much anymore until you see my favorite color and i'm not really a big fan of it anymore i also have this big um i forgot what those are called tapestry on my wall and it's like teal and stuff so i just not really a big fan of teal anymore so i also just kind of like grew out of some of these decorations or some of them are just kind of childish and stuff so i don't know but um yeah i would like my room makeover the first thing in this topic of my room makeover obviously has to be a new bedspread um so i'm keeping my sheets because um my sheets are gray um and the, my sheets are gray and white so it doesn't really matter if i keep my sheets or not but i'm going to keep them so i don't have to spend more money on sheets um but the first thing on my list is this comforter um and it's pink it's like a light ish pink and it has these like little tassel like ball things on the end of it um it also comes with two pillows with the same like pink and the, like the tassel falls around it so I think the little tassels are really cute I probably wouldn't be asking for it if it didn't have the little tassels uh, I really like it overall but the tassels just kind of make it you know the next thing also corresponds with my bed um it's um it's like a macrame blanket um it's really just kind of like this cream colored um like knitted blanket and it's gonna be my throw blanket so i'm just gonna throw it over the end of the bed or over the corner or something like that so yeah then we have um one more thing that goes on the bed it is a little throw pillow um see it's coming with two pillows i believe or like two pillow cases it's gonna come with two pillow cases i think because it shows them in the picture but um I there's only two and they're just like big and I like to have like at least one little like throw pillow in front of them so it's not just that because it makes it look just prettier you know so I like this um this little throw pillow because I think it's adorable I really think it's gonna fit the theme of my room and yeah another thing on my wish list for my room makeover is these like boho pictures so like if you haven't already caught on i'm doing my room kind of a pinky boho type style um i just think that looks really cute uh and i think it's really my style um so i'm gonna do i'm asking for these six pictures um and i think they're just really cute they fit the theme of my room very well and I really need something to cover up some of my wall space because I'm taking down some pictures. Uh, I'm actually gonna take down a lot of pictures. So I need something to just put on my wall to replace those. The next thing on my wish list for my room is this felt ball garland. Um, I think this would be really cute to like put around my mirror or my desk or something like that. Uh, or just hang on the wall, I don't really know yet, but I think it'd be a really cute touch to my room. Uh, I saw someone have it, it on YouTube and I was like, I became obsessed with it. So I was like, hey, why not? <laughs> Just throw it on my wish list. So that's what I did. I am asking for this um, macrame hanging shelf. Or not exactly hanging, just this macrame shelf. Um, I think it's like really cute. I think it's a, absolutely adorable. Um, and I really, it's functional too, so that's a nice plus, but it's really cute, it's functional, and it just really fits the theme of my room, so. Another thing I have on my wish list for my room is this um, Moon LED light. Um, I've seen these all over TikTok. Uh, I think they're really cute. I think they just really like make the room just a little bit better. Uh, especially at night like I think they just add that cute little touch at night you know uh, I just think they make it like that much better and that much cuter so yeah another thing that I've put on my wish list for my room is this uh, organizer 
I'm not sure if I'm going to use it for my bathroom or for my desk yet. Probably for my bathroom because I have a bunch of just stuff in my bathroom that I don't really know where to put. So my drawers are kind of just like ugly <laughs> looking and they're just like filled with junk. So um, this organizer I put on my wish list to help me organize that and make it look just prettier and neat overall. The next thing on my wish list is um, this little like hamper or like this like laundry bin. Uh, I'm not going to be using it for my laundry though. I'm going to be using it for my stuffed animals because I have a lot of stuffed animals all tucked in that corner over there and I have no idea where to put them. So I would like this little um, bin to help me put them somewhere and probably just keep them more organized instead of having them in a little corner. Another thing on my wish list is this salt lamp. Um, I've actually been wanting one of these for a really long time. I think they're just like really cute. I've just been kind of obsessed with them. Um, I think they just, I don't know, I just, I just like them. <laughs> and the last thing on my list for my room is this skylight projector. Um, again, I've seen these all over TikTok. Um, I really, I really think these are just so cool. Uh, I, I don't know, I just, I think they're so cool. I think they'd be like such a vibe just to like have there in your room. I'm not one to really stay up late. Um, I'm like one of those people who likes to go to bed early. So I'm kind of a party pooper at sleepovers. But um, like I said, I'm not really one to stay up late. So I wouldn't use this a whole lot, I don't think. Um, unless I'm having a sleepover. And like, I usually stay up later on sleepovers, just not like super late. Um, so like if I'm having a sleepover or if I'm just trying to like chill in my room and vibe, this would be a great thing to have. And the last category of my wish list is surprise YouTube stuff. Um, uh, there's only two things on this one, but for those of you who don't know, I film, uh, where is it? On my phone because I don't have a camera. So, um, I would really like a camera to film with on, for YouTube because my phone, it's just not very good quality. Like I have a really nice phone, it just doesn't make good quality for YouTube, you know? So, yeah, I'd like a camera for YouTube. And the one that I've looked into is, so I'm not going to spend or I'm not gonna have my parents or somebody else spend like $800 on a camera. Um, because I feel like that's just kind of crazy. Um, and this year we've struggled a lot with like, cause our house has kind of decided to be really rude to us and have us fix a lot of things in it. Like our septic tank completely broke. We had to get it completely replaced. Um, I shattered my foot and I had to have a huge surgery for that so that was really fun so my sister got her appendix out we had to get rid of our couches and buy new ones so we just had to spend a lot of money this year so i'm not going to be asking and we're going on a cruise for christmas so i'm not going to ask for them to spend that much money on a camera um so the one that i've looked into is cheaper and it works so that's all i really need uh, as long as it works, I'm fine with it, you know? And then the very last thing on my wish list is this tripod for that camera. Um, I'm not even sure if this tripod is gonna fit with the camera, but I really hope it does. Cause I've looked at like, um, I think there's like measurements or something for it. And I'm pretty sure I looked at those and I'm pretty sure it's going to work. Um, but I really hope it does because I feel like holding a camera, I'm really like prone to dropping things. But if I have like a, um, tripod it's much easier to hold on to something um besides just like holding something like this versus holding something like this i feel like it's so much easier to hold something like this so yeah a little camera tripod 
anyways guys that is the end of the video i really hope you enjoyed and if you did please subscribe or leave a like um and ring the bell um to get notifications every time i post a video i am trying to start posting a video weekly i haven't really figured out a day yet so you'll probably just see me sporadically posting um throughout like every week i'm trying really hard to get a video out every week some weeks are just a lot busier than others um but i'm trying my hardest so and soon enough we'll probably pick a date to get these videos out on but just for right now as i'm still kind of figuring out youtube and stuff it's just easier to just like post like one time a week whenever i want you know but um like i said thank you guys so much for watching I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye!